Hey guys, it's Dan here with another quick video. This time I'm going to try another experiment with the solar ones that I made in a previous video. You can check the link in the description for, for that video. And I wanted to see if it would melt plastic. If it is able to melt plastic, I also want to do an experiment to see how different colors of plastic would respond. Like, let's say we have white plastic, plastic with some Sharpie on it, gold Sharpie and black Sharpie, and some green plastic. So we have this gold, black, this green, and this white. Well, I want to see how they're all going to respond. Now one thing I didn't mention in the last video is that you need sunglasses when you're using this thing because it gets really bright and if you don't use them you're going to see like a pink spot after a couple seconds and you're going to not be able to focus it and then when you're done you're going to see a pink spot on everything you look at. <laughs> so wear sunglasses or if you have something that's better than sunglasses you should wear those also. Alright let's see what happens. Well I mean it's as bright as my eyes can see so. sunglasses in front oh yeah that that works poke it with your finger now actually puts out the wavelength pretty close to that as its peak but the black and gold that I put a marker on it absorbs so much light and it started to burn there's just so much going on that it literally charred and started to smoke the smoking might have been from the marker that I used but it definitely absorbed a lot more light and absorbed it a lot quicker so it was able to heat up a lot faster Green second place but super melty probably first place depending on how you look at it white got squishy it's still squishy but it didn't nearly absorb as much light awesome hey guys wasn't it really cool how it was able to melt the plastic like we got different pieces that are all melted together it was able to totally just char and burn through this and all this melting was so cool, wasn't it? One thing I didn't realize is this one that I put the Sharpie on was actually PCTPE, which is a different kind of plastic, which itself is already sort of flexible. Not as flexible as a rubber, but it's a little bit more flexible. So the results from that could have been from the plastic being different also, but I really still do think that the color on it is the one that made it burn so quickly and the other ones were all standard PLA. And the thing that I noticed afterwards is it got really hard. Like 
the plastic usually sort of has a little bit of flex foot, but after it got wavy and melted, it got really solid. Even this hollow cube is really hard. Well, thanks again for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. Leave a comment below. Tell me anything else you want me to see melt or burn with the solar winds. And if you have any ideas for what I should do in any future videos that have the solar winds in it or anything else, leave it in a comment below. Make sure to check out one of my other videos. And we'll see you next time.